Jamie. Hey, Derek Badwell here with another installment of camper tips, I guess. Anyways, this one's going to be about how to change a tire when you get a flat on your RV trailer. And it just so happens that my trailer is over here and it has a flat. <laughs> so it's perfect for a video. So if you take a look at it here, I've got it. This is, it's all winterized, ready to go. This is where I keep it, right next to the house, so it's out of the weather. But if you look down here, it actually is completely flat. And so we're gonna change it out. Now, I've got 50 ways to change a tire. Step out the back, Jack. Make a new plan, Stan. That's Coy, right? Anyways, <laughs> sorry, that's stupid. I'm going to start with the least likely, and the only reason it's least likely is because it's, you're not likely to have this kind of type of hardware in your vehicle, to the most likely, to having nothing. And then we'll just see what we can do to change the tire. Alright, so, number one, we're going to change it with a floor jack. Okay, one thing, so now you've got a flat tire, you're on the side of the road or wherever you're at, first thing you do before you start working on changing your tire, you need to secure the trailer. So number one, leave it hooked up to your vehicle. To make sure your vehicle's in park with the parking brake on. That'll stabilize it from going forward and backwards. And number two, let's stabilize the wheel. So we'll stick these chocks on the wheel, on the good wheel, on the other side of the trailer. Okay, this is the least plausible scenario, only because you're not likely to have a floor jack just in your car. Although, my son-in-law and good friend, Philip. He happens to carry one of these in the back of his truck at all times, so it's not totally implausible. Go. Okay, with the floor jack, what you want to do, actually with any jack, ideally, is you want to get it on the frame of the trailer. And so this I-beam right here, that's our frame. And we can't get directly underneath the wheel, or underneath the axle, because we got our leaf springs are right here. But right here, that's as close as we can get to the axle, so that's where we're going to put it. And we just jack it up, and it jacks up pretty quick. And so at this point, you get it here, right underneath, jack it up. As you see, then this brings up, it'll bring up the tire really easily. And so we, now we're jacking it off the ground, okay? And at this point, once you, once you get it up in there, we change it. Okay, the third way is use a handyman jack. There's a problem with the handyman jack, however, that the frame is probably 16 inches under the edge of the trailer. And this lip here, I don't know, it's probably four inches. It's not gonna reach under there. It's, and you can't jack it up on this, you'd ruin your trailer. The only other option would be here. If you look where the bumper is, right over here, right here, this is the frame, this is the I-beam right here. And this bumper is welded onto the I-beam. And so what you could do is get the lip of the handyman jack on the end of the I-beam, right here. Let's see if it fits. All right, so we put the handyman jack here. I haven't tried this before. Let's just see if it fits. I wish I remembered how a handyman jack works. <laughs> oh, there we go. Pull it up. Okay, now we've got it up here. And here's the lip of the frame right there. And so, I can pull it up a little more. Let's get it right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now we got it on here. Um, let's see, is it on the lip? Oh, okay, there's a problem here. If you zoom in, if you look right here, this is the end of the I-beam right here. And I've got like a quarter inch on the end of the frame. So that's not gonna work. I would not recommend using a handyman jack, at least on this trailer, because you cannot get enough of a bite under the frame, so it would be too dangerous. So. I'm just counting this as an actual valid method, at least for this trailer. Another method to do it 
Well, this is probably one of the more likely scenarios. Is that you've got a flat tire on your trailer, and you just have your trailer with it, whatever came with it, and you've got your vehicle with whatever came with it. Well, the trailer, at least mine doesn't, none of the ones I've ever had come with a jack. But your vehicle always comes with a jack, so you can change the spare tire. Well, in this case, in my pickup truck, we'll use the jack that came with the truck to open up, to jack up the trailer. So in here, under my seat here, I can pull the cover off. And in here, I've got, See, I've got the jack handle. I've got the jack. So I've got the car jack from my car. Um, and I've got a block of wood and I've got some of my uh, extenders in here. And if you look at it now, it's just directly under the I-beam, uh, which is the support for the entire trailer. And now I'm gonna have maximum lift. Let's just get it tight so it doesn't slide. There we go. Okay, we'll put this in here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a spin. Before I get it all the way off, I'm gonna wanna take off these lug nuts. So we'll do that next. Now, okay, what you got for a second? Better breath. Now, I'm gonna, one, th one cool thing, if you've got, as long as you've got an impact wrench you can, you can use on your stabilizer jacks, what I do is I have a couple other sockets. And I've got one that fits the trailer, and I have another one that fits the truck. You might get a flat tire on your truck, and this thing's darn handy for taking lug nuts off. The other thing is, you might not have a lug wrench to take those nuts off, because they're probably going to be a different size than your vehicle ones. And I've got a lug wrench to take off the ones on my truck. It's not going to fit here. They're different sizes. But with this, not only is it easy to take off, but I can do my jacks and the wheels on both vehicles. So I'll set it to... I'm just going to loosen them up a little bit. Now again, you could do this by hand. If you had just a lug nut wrench and you just spin them by hand. But why not use this? It makes it so much easier. Now at this point, the tire comes off. So now we've got it off. Now we'll put the new one on. So the new tire, then your camper probably has a spare tire on the back. Right here. This one's my spare tire. And we just take the cover off. Beautiful. Well, look, another lug nut. Perfect. Well, normally I'd use a torque wrench and I'd torque them down to the manufacturer's spec. If you're on the road, we just torque, well, just, uh, you can just tighten it with the impact wrench just so it, same pattern. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there. That's on pretty darn tight, actually. And that would probably that would be good to get you get where you're going. But to do an actual professional job on it, you want to tighten it to the manufacturer's spec. You gotta be the same size. Take this one off. Put it right there. Take this bracket off. Take the other one off. Okay, we got that one there. Here's our new tire. We'll throw it over here. Okay. Looks like it's got pretty good air in it. Yeah, we'll hand tighten all of our nuts. We'll get them, we'll get them on here first. One. Two. Oh, got it backwards. There's a part, you know, the tapered part that's going to go in towards your wheel. You want to make sure you have the tapered part in there. I started those the wrong way because I wasn't paying attention. It's always good to pay attention. Let's 
Especially if you have a wife or a girlfriend, paying attention really pays off. Because I appreciate it. Okay, make sure lefty loosey. Ready tighty. Now do it in a star pattern. Top one, bottom, go back to the top, go to the other side, put down the bottom. Here we go. Okay, so here's our card jack. Take the rest of this down later by hand. Those are our stackers. And we are good to go. I have a torque wrench here. But you won't have a torque wrench probably on the road. When you get back, you probably want to check the setting to make sure it's going to be tight enough. Okay, I'm looking at the owner's manual. And it says for a 15 inch wheel size and a half an inch stud, you tighten it up ideally in three separate stages. The first to 25, the second to 60, the third to 120. I'm just going by the top numbers there. Okay, did you hear that click? That means I've got it tightened down. I actually have it set to 90 pounds. And so that's where it's supposed to go. So I did not over tighten it with the impact wrench. I got it to make that, so it starts making that So it's actually, you know, putting some pressure on it. But I didn't over tighten it with that. So they're all tightened down to torque wrench specifications. In this case, I did 90 pounds. Um, that's a workout. But, all right, one more thing to show you. Now, that's probably the most likely scenario there. You used all the tools that you're going to have with you. In this case, I had an impact wrench. If you didn't have an impact wrench, you just do it by hand. As long as you got a lug, net, lug wrench, it's going to fit your trailer and your vehicle. And this, this is a Springfield Marine Quick Change Trailer Jack, 4,000 pounds capacity. This trailer weighs 2,500 pounds. And the idea with this, is you put it on the ground and then you put it under the axle and then you pull your truck forward until this goes up and stands up here and raises your wheel off the ground. I just wanted to show it to you for um, just to be complete. 50 ways to leave your lever. Okay, now if we look down here, if we look down here on my axle, under the axle, this guy, it fits right here. So you can see what's happening here. It gets right here. And my axle's a little higher because I, when I bought the trailer, they put bigger wheels and uh, tires on it. But the trailer's actually jacked up higher over the axle. This goes underneath your axle right here. And then when you pull it forward, it's going to raise it up in the air and jack your, jack your trailer up in the air. And, and it fits right there nice and tight. And we're going to give it a shot to see what happens. And what you need an assistant to tell you when this this uh, flat part with the base on there is, is exactly vertical. Where it's uh, 90 degrees to the ground. And that's when your axle is going to be at the maximum point. All right. Go, go slow, baby. I'm going to go real slow. You tell me when it gets to the, to the highest point. I got it. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't know if anything's going to fly out, so. Go real slow. We're good. No, you're good. Oh, no, not quite. A little more, a little more. I mean, you're up, but okay, good, 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 good. Instead of jacking, I just pulled it up, and if you look at this wheel. It's off the ground by oh, at least an inch, and yeah, that's good. I think those are 14 inch wheels. That was that was easy peasy. It's just a two person job for sure. And now I'm gonna take it off the jack, so we'll just we'll see how easy that is. You good? So this thing is pretty darn handy. That's Derek Badwell signing off. Another episode of Trailer Adventures for Tough Old Men of Action.